Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, here in... What was the name? Isari, in the... At the edge of... The Ruby Sea. Where this guy seems to have a quest chain. Thrice cursed. So I'm cleaning up some stuff here. Mm, an outsider. Those fire... Those firm arms and lean shoulders. You look to be as strong as ten Asari men. Thank for coming for sending you to us. There's a young man who needs your help. One of our fishermen, Nayoshi, has been cornered by a fiendish beast. While we desperately want to rush to his aid, I fear not even the combined strength of our village will be enough to repel it. Please, you must save him. I'm afraid you might be the only one that can. You saved my life. Oh, thank you. I've been born and raised in this quaint village. I n always knew I would be laid to rest here. Just never did realize that time might come so soon. But may I have your name? Mr. Shadowstar, truly from the bottom of my heart I thank you. Even among the numerous beasts I've reared in from the sea, this one was particularly terrifying. I wish I knew what about me continues to attract these fiendish creatures. If only I could learn the answer and find a way to get half as many fish to bite. You may, I would like to properly thank you, please. If you would accompany me back to the village, they might give you a gift for your troubles. I'm sorry, everyone. Truly, I am. Uh, Mr. Shadowstar, thank you for coming all this way. Unfortunately, I will not be able to get your gift to do just yet. It seems some of my fellow fishermen wish to have a word with me. What the hell is wrong with you, Nayoshi? Do you not realize what peril you put us in every time you go fishing? It's past time you hang up your rod. We will have no more of this. Please, anything but that. How am I to eat if I cannot fish? The village needs m come first. We will never know peace so long as you are out in the waters reading in beast after ferocious beast. We are so shaken. They will not listen to reason. Perhaps if we are to soothe them, they will become more receptive. Please start with Kuri. She's a good friend. Please come down. You killed the beast and Nayoshi fished from the sea? And they're safe. For now. Everyone listen up. This kind lady has slain the monster. Neither we nor the village are in danger any longer. I shall have a stern word with Nayoshi while the rest of you go back to work. Or have you already fulfilled your quotas for the day? W w well, no, but we cannot keep letting him off a hook like this. Uh, your friendship is something I never understand. How is that a village's best... Diver is friends of a village's worst fisherman. We are born the same year and you lived but a stone's throw away from me. It's only natural, but that's not important. It's time you all return to work. Fine, but for everyone's sake, you better find a way to convince them to quit fishing. Mr. Shadowstar, thank you for it. It seems I am once again in your debt. I too owe you my thanks, madam, and I must also apologize for the trouble Nayoshi has caused you. As for you, how many times have I asked, pleaded with you even, to quit fishing? Everyone is fed up with your antics. If I was not your friend, you would be in, great, in a great deal of trouble right now. 
Every time you promise it will not happen again, but it does. You keep fishing monsters from the sea, each more dangerous than the last. This cannot continue. We are a poor village. You must find a decent job, a way to make yourself useful. But it's not as easy as you make it sound. We are a village of fishermen. How am I to show my face in public if I do not bring home fish, however minuscule of the amount? You're far too stubborn for your own and anyone else's good. Fine. You shall be granted one final chance. Next time we go fishing, you must catch at least half the number of fish I do. Anything less and you're to give up fishing for good. She cannot be serious, can she? Even my death base, I can barely catch enough fish to feed myself. Either way, everyone stares. I'm starting to make me feel uncomfortable. Please join me behind those large boulders yonder. I would like to give you something. Ah, oh, you came. Here, this is for you. Mr. Shadowstar, there's no way I can quit fishing. I must somehow become good enough to convince Kuru Rui and the others to allow me to keep my word. This will require a lot of practice, which means I might end up pulling in even more monsters from the sea. But I ask you, please, madam, might you accompany me on my training sessions? I know it's a bold favor to request of someone who saved me not once but twice now. However, I see no other way. You're the only one that can keep these monsters at bay. Truly, you're my last hope. So will you help me? Truly? Thank you, Mr. Shadowstar. Please, follow me north. We can train there. Far away from everyone, if... Nay, when I should fish a monster from the sea. I ask that you step in and dispatch it immediately. <laughs> How does one fish this thing? Perhaps this wasn't the best place to begin my training. Let us move to the southern coast and try again. This time I shall wait for you to arrive before I begin. You're here, excellent. Let me pull out my rod and cast the line then. No, not again. Why does this continue to happen? Please, Mr. Shadowstar, kill the beast before its mom makes its way into the village. What the heck? Dude, what is this? Is your... Is this your rod or is it you? This is some cursed rod. Sell it to the Kojin. They love this kind of uh, treasure. And buy a new one for us. Despite the change in location, my performance has scarce improved. What am I to do? Perhaps you can approach Kurui for advice? Kurui is undoubtedly the most talented fisher in the village. Unlike me, however, she dives underwater with a harpoon and spears her fish. The techniques we employ are vastly different, and any advice she may have would be of no use to me. I'm left with no choice but to turn to one of the other fishermen for guidance. That's just one problem. 
Isari is a small, unpretentious village. Your reputation hinges solely on your ability to fish. Those who show no aptitude for it are often scorned. Even if I were to appeal to them for help, I would simply be ignored. You are above one of respect by defeating the monster that earlier threatened to devour me and destroy the village. If you ask me to teach you their fishing techniques, I will be more than happy to oblige. I will go with you when you question them and listen intently by your side to what they have to say. Because he is catching something, it's not as if he is failing. This is very weird. I remember you. You're the adventurer I sent to save Nay Nayoshi. Heroic action of a talk of town. During your stay here, you have uncovered a new passion for fishing, you say? My knowledge of fishing is insubstantial to teach Mr. Shadowstar what she wants to know. So I brought her to you, our veteran fisher. Well, the most important thing is to understand the fish you want to catch. For example, long ago we used to row boats out to sea at night and light a torch. It would draw schools of silver tails to us, allowing fishermen to haul them back by the boatload. Torches? But none of them here would, could ever afford the amount of oil it would require to keep them burning. Exactly. That Nayoshi is part of the reason we remained in a destitute village. Life would be far easier if we have a means to put torch fishing into practice again. I see. Thank you for sharing your wisdom with us. Seeing as we have no oil, however, I think we must look to other methods to assist Mr. Shadowstar in beginning a fishing journey. Come, let us try asking someone else. But still, um, the idea of know your prey still holds, right? Huh? You ask me to diverge my greatest fishing secret? And why, pray, would I do such a thing? Truly must recognize this gracious woman. She defeated the tank tank monstrosity I pulled ashore and is the savior of our village. Ah, indeed. My sincerest apologies. Of course, I would be delighted to share with you my technique. After all, someone must make up for Nayoshi's inability to teach you about our craft. Until recently, I was only slightly better than your average fisherman. I tried everything to improve, but using nets to even pots and fake bait from using n nets to even pots and fake bait to improve my performance. After much trial and error, I learned that the fastest way to snack a fish is to use this. A wooden fishing lure. Here, you can have mine. Best of luck, my friend. You did it, Mr. Shadowstar. You have unraveled the secret to becoming a phenomenal fisher. Please meet me behind the border that I might inspect the little you see. Uh. I'm so glad you're here, madam. Please tell me honestly, has Nayoshi improved at all since we last met? I came here to check up on his progress, but every time I ask him, he attempts to dodge a question. Thanks for coming, you're here. The moment I arrived, Kururu appeared and began pestering me about my progress. Do you have a wooden fishing lure? Ah, look at that. It's shaped like a small fish to trick the bigger fish into thinking it's food. Let's go put it to test, shall we? It struck me as rather odd when I caught wind of Mr. Shadowstar's sudden interest in fishing, but neither did I think you were the one to put her up to this. <sighs> Nayoshi, isn't it about time you admitted defeat? Never. As a man of Isari, I must do whatever it takes to learn to fish. How else am I to survive? Besides, weren't you the one who was pushing me to improve my fishing abilities? If it's simply survival you're worried about, there are plenty of other options. You could cover seaweed, for example. Then again, there's a good chance you would be equally bad at that. Kuruu, Kuruu, if you have simply come to poke fun at me, please leave. I actually came here to give you some advice. When you are fishing, you must shut down all your thoughts and concentrate f solely upon seeing, nay, feeling, 
the great expanse of water that stretches out before you. Do it right and the seas will guide you. By contrast, should you allow your mind to roam aimlessly, so will your rot. The waters will only amplify the chaos in your heart and the fish will avoid your line. It seems she takes me for an idiot. Well, I will show her, and everyone else in the village for that matter, but I am nothing of a sort. I pray that the answer to my problem lies in this with this lure. It won't. Kururi can mock me all she wants, but now that I have this, there's nothing stopping me from becoming the finest fisherman in all of Asari. Let us make for the waters post haste. Mr. Shadow, we will never believe what just happened. I could not wait to test the lure, so I cast a line with it before you arrived, and something huge took the bait. A violent struggle and shift with it thrashing about wildly and me trying to hold my ground. Halfway through our silent battle, I was sent sailing into my barrel. The impact made me lose my grip, and my rod flew into the ocean. The lord is now somewhere at the bottom of the sea. Huri is the best village diver. Normally I would ask her to fetch it for me, but I'm afraid doing so will only further convinced her that I should quit fishing. Do you think you could get it for me? Sure. I knew I could count on you. So it's not here, so it's probably underwater, right? Shadow, so you have finally returned. Did you find my rod? Thank you. Thank you so very much. Now then, let us go back to practicing. You best watch closely. I'm about to catch your biggest fish you've ever seen. Okay, I'll speak with Nayoshi and slay the hooked bomb fish. Are you ready? Here we go. Well, at least it's a fish, but it's still a sea monster. Plus, it's another beast. Twice I have tried and twice I have failed. Uh, this lure was my last hope. Now, Yoshi, it's time you faced the truth already. You're incapable of fishing anything but monsters from the sea. Well, thankfully, Mr. Shadowstar was here to take care of a bomb fish. You must hurry to clean this up. The smell of blood will be attracting all kind, all manner of wild beasts. Very well. The corpse of this dastardly creature shall go up in flames, along with all my dreams. And pray tell how exactly do you intend to burn the bloody without oil? I will put it in this broken barrel and set fire to the wood. But the wood is still damp from water that was in it. Look, the sparks you struck are fizzling out. Ah, uh, then I'd go and get dry planks of wood from the village, dammit. 
Mr. Shadowstar, while I'm away, see that the fat fiend is cramped into what remains of a barrel. It's on fire, but how is it possible? The planks are barely smoldering. The whole thing is engulfed in flames that cling, climb higher on by the second. The sheen of water was coating the creature's body. It must have been grease. Bombfish must be composed mostly of lard. Well, whatever the case, our worries are over. The beast has been reduced to a pile of ashes as of my dreams. Three, I should have listened to you from the start. I will not trouble you nor anyone else any longer. I shall renounce fishing and leave a village. But leave a village? But where would you even go? To the mountains. Or somewhere else far, far away from here. I love the open sea and fishing more than anything. If I were to remain in Isari, I will constantly be reminded of all that I have lost. Nayoshi, this is madness. This is your home. You cannot simply abandon it. Oh dear. Is it time already? I must grab my harpoon and return to work. Meet me at our usual spot after I'm finished. And please, for once, try not to do anything brash while I'm away. This pile of ash will not be attracting wild animals anytime soon. Our work here is done. Mr. Shadow, sir, it was a great honor knowing you. Not only am I still alive and breathing thanks to you, but your accompanying me throughout my journey has allowed me to come to an important realization. I'm not fit to be a fisherman. While Karuri has requested that I meet with her after she finished working, I think it would be best for everyone if I left immediately. Before I go, however, I would like to give you a small gift. Poor meet me by the boulders shortly. Ah, there you are. I came here as soon as I finished packing my things. Seeing as I do not have much in the way of possessions, that did not take long. Thank you for everything, Mr. Shadowstar. Here is your gift. Hurry! Stoke the fires! Kareri's body is sh shutting down. We need to warm her and remove her water from her lungs. What? what Has something happened to Karui? The cries that came from the way, from that way. Kuri nearly drowned. They're in there right now trying to revive her. <sighs> this is so terrible. I was there when the accident happened. Kuri, she was in the waters with me, but the entire time her mind was elsewhere. C could it be that I am to blame for this? Made my declaration to leave a village caused her to lose focus and nearly drown? Nayoshi, she's in a bad place. Her body temperature continues to drop, and while we are doing everything we can, the fires burn too low to warm her. What are we to do? We must gather flammable items. Mr. Shadowstar, do you have any idea what we could start with? How about the hooked bombfish? That's a brilliant idea. If we throw the corpse and one of us of us creatures into the fire, it will coax the flames to life. Leave it to me. I shall soon return with something to fix this. Just keep Kori alive until then. Mr. Shadowstar, I cannot save Kururi without you. While I can fish another hooked bomb fish from the sea, I fear I will not be able to defeat it. Please allow me to borrow your strength once more. Okay. Here it goes. I hope one of these f fat fiends will take the bait and bite.
Yes, Mr. Xerxes. Take it from here. Quick, slave a beast. We did it. There is, however, push us a little time to celebrate. We must carry the bombfish back to the hot post haste. Kuri's condition is critical and worsens by the minute. Please, if you have something that could save her, hand it over to me now. This is a few you mentioned earlier. Even the creature's skin is sticky with grease. This should make the fire roar. Press the Kami, she's awake! Guri, should you really be standing? You need to rest. No, I'm fine. Really, Mr. Sedista, Nayoshi, I hear you. I owe my recovery to the two of you. Thank you. To think I was delivered from death by the very what I condemned. Fate is a funny thing, isn't it? Often I would lecture you on how you must maintain your focus during fishing. But I failed to heed my own advice. I let myself go distracted by thought of you departing and almost died. I'm so sorry, Kuriri. The last thing I wanted to do was put you in harm's way. I should have known better than to tell you my plan right before you went driving. I was assured, however, this will be the last problem I caused you or anyone else in the village. Now that I know you're safe, I will leave you, sorry. Nayoshi, you cannot go. Not just yet. Forgive me, but I would choose to never see again see the open waters than live out the rest of my days collecting seaweed. Who says that is what we would have you do? You have a precious gift. There's something you and you alone can fish. The hooked bomb fish. The oil from these beasts could allow us to make up torch fishing. Take up for torch fishing once again. T torch fishing? That would significantly increase our yield. Not a single one of us would need to suffer from hunger any longer. Nayoshi, do you not see? This is a miracle. A gift, gift from the Kami themselves. But, 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 but bombfish are extremely dangerous beasts. One small misstep and they could very well destroy our home here. That can easily pre be prevented. We will set up traps for them near where you cast your line. Right, everyone? <laughs> yes! <laughs> Truly, you'd have me continue fishing? I'm at a loss for words. Come now, Nayoshi. Unpack your things and take up your rod. By your hand will our torches be lit tonight. Yes, yes I will. I shall go to the seas and bring back more bombfish when we know what to do with. Mr. Shadowstar, thank you for everything. In my darkest hour, you lent me your support. Words are not enough to express my gratitude. Oh, that reminds me. I nearly forgot to give you a gift. Nayoshi, I shall see that Mr. Shadowstar is properly rewarded. You need to get fishing.
Thank you, Mr. Shadowstar. You've helped Nayoshi reclaim his life here. Maybe even saved us all from poverty. We've already begun preparing torches with the remnants of a bomb which you brought back for me earlier. We will, however, be needing much, much more if we are to begin torch fishing. No doubt Nayoshi will grow very busy in the coming days and months. While still meager in comparison to what you have given us, I would never the I would nevertheless like to present you with this. Once our village begins to flourish, as I'm sure it will, we shall furnish you with something more befitting. I believe this is a continue of the last quest line we had. If it isn't our most vaunted savior, Mr. Shadowstar, ever since you provided us with a means to revive torch fishing, our yield has increased tenfold. Trade 2 has begun to flourish and my seafood stall has greatly benefited from it. A new era is upon us and we are, are all ready to embrace it with open arms. Well, everyone with the exception of Nayoshi, that is. Lately, he's been spending all his free time moping by the large boulders. Please, might you try talking to him and learn what's wrong? Mr. Shadowstar, I'm glad you came. Well, all the others are incredibly excited about being able to torture again. There's something that's been bothering me. Nobody seems to realize just how dangerous the hooked bombfish are. Every time I reel one in from the seas, it takes the strength of the entire village to bring it down. It's only a matter of time before someone is grievously injured. In fishing with you, I'd never had to fear for your safety. You know how to handle yourself. Please, do you think you could teach the others some basic techniques to subdue the beasts? Alright, that's sensible. Thank you. You put my mind at ease. I shall go and fetch everyone now. Let us meet at the pier shortly. Mr. Shadowstar, the lesson must wait. One of the boats that went torch fishing last night has vanished. There were no storms to rough the sea, so chances of their boat having capsized are slim. The men on it were also better when so an accident is equally unlikely. Indeed. This is deeply troubling. I suspect we might have been attacked by sea monsters or cogent of a rat. If that's the case, then there is little we can do. We are but humble fishermen. We can scarce fight either of them off with our nets and the pools. Before Yotsu you rose to power, the Confederacy had an outpost here. When problems like this would arise, we often would, t would often turn to them for help. What is to say we can't still do that? All we would need to do is send a boat to Onokoa and beg them for assistance. I'm afraid that is not so s not nearly so simple. When the Empire came, we simply stood by and watched as they drove them out. Nevertheless, we must at least try. Mr. Shadowstar, would you by any chance happen to know someone in the Confederacy? I know a Confederate by the name of Tsukikage. Master Tsukikage? The, the Confederacy treasurer? He often came to our village to collect the ruby tithe. As I recall, he was quite fond of Isari. He would often buy stockfish by the armload to take back. Perhaps he would be sympathetic to our plight. Could you introduce me to this man? I would like to explain our predicament to him and request his assistance. So when you brings you here, and who is the large gobbing boy beside you? I'm Nayoshi of Yes. Of Isawi, I begged Mr. Shadowstar to bring me here to speak with you. I have come to appeal to you for your help. One of our boats has vanished along with the men who were in it. We have not the resources or the power to look for them, but you do. In fact, you seem to have already found one of them. <laughs> your story matches what this man told us when we fished him out of the water on the way back from the delivery to the East Alna Trading Company. Nayoshi, the torches were very effective, but perhaps a little too effective. They attracted a large number of fish, but not long after they also brought a swarm of red cogent to us. 
I dove into the sea and was able to escape. But the others were not so nearly so fortunate. They were captured and taken, taken to hell's lid. As you know, our influence over the seas has begun to weaken because of this. The cogent of a red grow bolder by the day. It's not prudent of your people to go out with torches in the middle of the night. Even so, we can very, cannot very well leave them in the clutches of the enemy. Please, I beg you of you, lend us your assistance. It is a confederacy's duty to see that the seas remain secure. Besides, you cannot deny the pleas of one of Serenia's acquaintances. You will have our assistance. Thank you. Those are the very words I had hoped to hear. Sir, if the reports our comrades on Sakazuki have sent us anything to go by, Hellsworth will be teeming with Kojin of a wet. Rescuing this fisherman is not going to be an easy task. That is why we will be setting up a little diversion for our shell-backed friends at the Isle of Zeki. The, the Isle of Zeki? Is it the Red Kojin's home? But Chief, the only way to get there is to swim. That should be no problem for Mrs. Shadow, sir. She's an excellent diver. Then it sounds as if we have ourselves a plan. So, Anya, you shall be in charge of creating a dis distraction. Suzuma, so you are to come with me to Hellslit. Together we shall take care of a red cogent menace and free the prisoners. And Zaku, you will remain on the boat nearby to ensure our quick escape. Yes, sir. Oh, and Nayoshi, I would have you accompany Suzuma and me. Seeing a familiar face should keep your friends from panicking when they see us. Yes, sir. If I'm not needed, I shall return to the village and inform everyone of the current situation. So, when you take these firecrackers, find the visible location and light them up. They are loud and bright and should keep the coaching busy for a time. Once you have done that, come meet us at Hellslit. Then let's make some noise. You death is nigh, intruder. Trouble apparently. Kage, are you all right? Serenia, you could not have come out at a better time. We were in the middle of our retreat when cogent reinforcements arrived. Suzuma and Nayoshi evacuated to the, with the fishermen while I remained behind to fed them off. A decade ago, I could have easily done away with this lot. <sighs> Time truly is man's greatest enemy. Now then, let us not waste any more time. To his sorry, my friends. My friend. Mr. Shadowstar, you've returned. The fishermen all made it back safely 
to have a home. They are resting to recover from a terrible deal. On behalf of everyone here, I would like to extend you our sincerest thanks for your help. It's fine, really. That reminds me, perhaps it would be best for would be for the best if we return to our old method of fishing. While not as effective, at least we will not have to worry about any more attacks. If I may make might I make a suggestion? Now she tells me that torch racing is a practice that's only been recently revived in Isari, and that you use bomb fish oil to do it. That is correct. If you had to supply the Confederacy with some of this oil, we would be willing to ensure the safety of your boats at night. Being the rare commodity that it is, I am sure I can convince Russia to agree to the trade. Yes, you might even be able to lend you some men to slay these bombfish. I hear they have been giving you quite a bit of trouble. D truly? You would do that? I think I speak for all of us when I say we would be honored to accept your offer. We would be fools not to. It seems we have ourselves an agreement then. I shall be looking forward to working with you. <laughs> Mr. Shadowstar, did you hear that? We have an agreement. It seems you won't be needing those fighting lessons from me after all. Once again, we owe you our thanks. You continue to bring us opportunities we could only ever dream of having. Our future is bright and this is no sm small part thanks to you. Before we part ways, once again, please accept this gift of gratitude from us. I bid you well, my friend. May the wind always be at your back. So this part was a lot shorter than I expected, and I think I just hang it on onto the episode with Nayoshi, probably for the best. Anyway, until next time, um, when we play more Final Fantasy XIV, I'm Ace, and don't get lost.